All right, guys, this is Brian from Quantum Motor Works, bringing you a, this might be a little tutorial here. Uh, we have a YX160 engine, pretty much like a KLX110. Just finished rebuilding the whole bottom end, the whole engine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the stock cylinder on and put this TV parts uh, performance cylinder head. And this video is to show you guys basically... Uh, how to install the piston ring. So here we have the TB parts piston. Uh, this is a 60 millimeter bore. And basically it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm just using the directions from the KLX 110 since they're pretty much the same. And if you look right here, I'll go ahead and tell you the positions. Um, number uh, letter A, it's gonna be the top compression ring. B, the oil scraper ring or second compression ring depending on how you look at it and then c is going to be a stack of oil scraper rings with the top and bottom ones being the thin oil scraper rings and the middle d being the oil expander ring now if you look at the piston here it's marked exhaust ours doesn't have an exhaust it has intake so it's going to be the opposite of this one right here um basically we're going to put the lower uh oil scraper ring the thin one that's going to be 30 30 degrees from the 12 o'clock position so it's going to be pretty much like pointed that way just to the left of this uh exhaust relief here so i don't know if you can kind of tell that's the opening right there on the lower one and then the upper one that's 30 degrees to the right 12 o'clock or just to the right of the exhaust valve relief and then the expander ring that's one that goes in the middle the opening you can't see it but it's dead center 12 o'clock it's right there and usually i like the little tabs um pointing up make sure they're that they're not overlapping Let's see if i can get in a little closer Uh, maybe not, but you get the picture. 12 o'clock position on the intake side. So now, let's go ahead and install the second ring, or oil, the main oil scraper, or second compression ring. So, <clears throat> the directions don't really specify between the top and the bottom. Um, if you don't have too, uh, too much engine building experience, it could make a mistake. So, the camera really doesn't show it very well let's see if i can get a lighter background here um one ring so they'll both have an r you want to make sure that the r is facing upwards um that's gonna be most important uh if you put the rings upside down they won't seal now if, i don't know if you can tell but the uh one that's higher there it has kind of like a silver edge and the lower one it's kind of black um, the camera really doesn't show you, but the uh, one's kind of lighter in color, at least the corner or the edge of the ring is. It's uh, like a silver color. And so what we're going to do is the, the black full solid one, this one right here, that's actually going to be the second ring. We'll put that one on first. And the last one, that'll be your top compression ring. That's this one right here with the shiny side. That's going to go on top. So before we put these in, I actually kind of want to check the ring end gap, make sure they're not too tight, not too loose. Um, it's supposed to be on the KLX. It calls for uh, the top supposed to be like 0.15 to 0.30 millimeters, which is about 5,009 tenths to so about 11 thousandths. And then on the second ring, it's supposed to be 0.15 to 0.30 which is about 11 to I think 16 thousandths. So let's go ahead and check them really quick. 